Breaking this morning, a mass shooting in Lawndale. Chicago police say people were gathered outside near Albany and Polk just before three this morning when a man in a black SUV opened fire. Six people were shot. A 27 year old woman hit in her pelvis is now fighting for her life in critical condition. Police say the other five people hurt were stable as ambulances rushed them to the hospital. So far, no one is in custody. And now to other breaking news overnight, a close call for a Chicago fire medic with the fire department rather after shots were fired at the Bay Area of a hospital emergency room. You can see the shattered glass of the automatic doors. CBS 2's Asal Rizai joins us now from Stroger Hospital. Asal. Marissa, that's right. That paramedic was treating someone inside the emergency room you see just over my shoulder there when those bullets came flying through those glass doors of the entrance here. This is a video of the scene just after 10 o'clock last night. You can see dozens of Chicago police vehicles, police tape blocking off the entrance here. Officers were seen patrolling the inside and outside of the emergency and trauma area. Police say a Chicago Fire Department paramedic was treating a patient inside the emergency room when shots were fired. Witnesses say the shooter was driving an older model green Buick. The paramedic was hit in the bill of a baseball like cap. Here's the moment it was called in over police radio. Ticket of a 10 1 Stroger Hospital, 1969 West Osden. College State's a student and officer at Stroger. That's all we're getting at this time. I'm in Georgia. They have two different things. Um, there's a couple units. Um, nobody get hurt. No one was injured in that shooting that happened here at the hospital, but just minutes before the shooting here, two men were shot less than two miles away near Warren and Oakley Boulevard. A 28 year old was shot and brought here to Stroger where he said to be OK. The other man, a 31 year old, was hit in the chest and in the arm. He later died from his injuries. We haven't been able to confirm if that shooting is related to the one that happened here at the hospital, but they happened just minutes apart and in very, very close proximity. Details continue to develop in this story as police continue investigating. No one is in custody at this time. We're live at Stroger Hospital. Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News. And don't forget to download our app CBS Chicago so you can stay on top of breaking news throughout the day. Just download it wherever you get your apps.